So this is the question. It says, consider two investments below. The cash flows, as well as the NPV and IRR for the two investments are given. For both investments, the required rate of return is 10%. Then the question says, what discount rate would result in the same NPV for both investments? So what we're looking at here is the crossover rate. So just a quick picture to show you what, what we're talking about. If I drew an NPV profile down here at the bottom, this is what it would look like. Here's my discounting rate. Here's NPV. And I have one project coming down like this. And I have another project, we'll put it in blue, kind of looks like this. There's the two projects. I'm not using these cash flows. But right here where they cross over, what is this discounting rate? That is what they're asking us because this will be the rate which creates the NPV that is the same for both projects. That's what they're asking in this question. So here's our diagram from an NPV profile. So how do we calculate what this rate is? A really quick way to do this is simply to look at the differences in the cash flows. So let's just subtract the cash flows from one project from the other. So minus 100 minus 100, well, that's just zero. 36 minus zero, that's 36. 36 minus zero, that's 36. 36 minus zero, that's 36. And 36 minus 175, that's minus 139. So now we're going to enter these values into our calculator. So let's uh, make sure that we know we're going to enter these values in the calculator. And then we're going to solve for the internal rate of return. And this will be the rate which sets the NPVs for both projects equal. So let's enter that into our, into our calculator right now. So I've got my, uh, my calculator. I'm going into cash flow. I'm just going to clear everything, clear the work. And now let's enter these. The first cash flow is zero. Hit enter. Down arrow. Cash flow number one is 36. Hit enter. And the down arrow. Now it's going to ask me for the frequency. 36 occurs three times. So I'm just going to put in three. This is going to save me some time. Hit enter and the down arrow. And the last cash flow is negative 139. So let's enter that. 139 negative. Hit enter. Don't hit the down arrow. Now just push IRR and compute. And there it is. It gives us the answer. The answer is 13.15. So now we know exactly where this, <laughs> this, <laughs> this uh, correct answer is. So 13.15, that's the crossover rate. And that's got to be choice B. So I hope this cracks the code and helps you out on this. It's a, it's a tricky question that's not necessarily explained in the curriculum very well. Uh, but I think it's something that you should be aware of. And now we've cracked the code. Okay, so we'll end this here.